welcome to today's video. It is super dark and dreary because it's a rainy day. We are off already. It's the crack of dawn. We are already off, ready to go. I have all this stuff I have to bring. I am loading up the car. I have so many things to do today, crazy things. Today uh, is a farrier day and it's a big one and I'm gonna explain when we get to the barn. I also have to run and drop some papers off at our private investigator's office. Yeah, we hired a private investigator, you guys. And it has been such an amazing journey. Like, I've learned so much. Did you guys know that private investigators do so much more than like all the cloak and dagger stuff? They don't just go around and follow people and take pictures of them, but they do do that too. But they do, they can do like cyber stuff. All this online investigation that you can't even imagine they can do. Okay, it literally have lost my coat. You only lose your coat on the days that you're in a hurry. But anyways, yeah, like, so uh, we just hired uh, this private investigator to help us get some information that we need. Nothing super crazy, but um, he's been telling me all this stuff that you can do, all the stuff that they can do, that they can find out information. They they can find lost relatives. They can, like, there's just so much they can do. It's unbelievable. And anyways, uh, so I have to go drop some papers off to him. And then we have to rush to the barn and be there. But first, we have to let our horses out. Whoa. And because we're homeschooled, um, we're not used to these time restrictions. I got my food for the day, you guys. Um, so my mom found these markers. And I've been using them to color. And um, this one's really bad, but I colored a sunset. Oh, I love it. And that's the darkness, and that's the Yeah, darkness. it's so cool. She did that yesterday. All right, let's go. Let's start this day. I actually have no idea where Gabby is. Hopefully, she's going to be ready if I feed the horses and meet me in the car. Because we got to run. Right. Penny pickle. Feeling good? Daisy got shocked for the very first time. And let me tell you. For a dog that does not make very much noise, she, I'm pretty sure the whole world could have known that. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're okay. It's she, okay. She's coming back to check on me. Because she ran down to the barn with you. Yeah, she's good at checking she you. She ran all the way back up to the house where I was. Because I was slow. Now she's probably going to run all the way back. Come on. Oh, oh, I spy with my little eye. Gabby girl. Gabby, catch that dog. Catch that dog. She's been electrified. Good girl. Tell her good girl. She's terrified. She's like, whoa, what happened to me? So imagine like not being able to hear and then just running and doing something that you normally do and suddenly you get shocked. You get electrified. Like, I think a lot of uh, deaf dogs must have fear. It's actually amazing that she's as confident and happy as she is. Yeah. All right, Gabby, I found a job career for you. You ready for it? What? I think you should be a private investigator. No. I do. You should we bring some of these carrots to the barn? Yeah. Yeah, you're okay. Yeah. Poor puppy. Yeah. Oh, hurry up, give your horse your food. I think Gabby would be really good at it, and Sam would be really good at it. Sam already kind of works in a related, similar kind of field, and he's really calm and really patient. Never gets upset or loses patience. No, no that never happens. <laughs> Kathy's like, yeah, he always loses his patience. But trust me, he is a calm boy. He's a calm boy. Well, there we go, you guys. We solved the problem of Daisy ever running off. She yep. so <laughs> All right. Hi, little kitty. This kitty we see in the morning, the other kitty we see at night. Wow, all it took was one good shock. <laughs> She's sticking with us. Oh. All right, there you go. Put that on your mini. In case it rains while we're away. I'm so scared. I know. So sad. She looks even more hurt than she is than she was when she jumped off the hayloft. Yeah. She's like, this is this world is booby trapped. Anyway, welcome to today. I apologize for how quick and fast this vlog is moving this morning. That's the life with horses. You're always on the go. Horses and private investigators. Also, a lot of you guys brought up interesting questions in yesterday's video about, or a couple days ago, and I've been getting some private messages about Penny and how she should be on stall rest. And then, so I was asking some other friends who have had similar experiences, and they said that 
stall rest depends on like what level of injury they're at. I don't know. It sounded fishy to me. I'm gonna talk to my vet again today. I'm gonna send him a message because I I didn't know anything about um, her injury when he was here, and he said specifically she doesn't have to be on on stall rest. I didn't even know that. Like I didn't even think that she might have to be on stall rest. But he specifically said she does not need stall rest, just paddock rest. And he never mentioned anything about uh, rehabbing or like how else, what other things that we can do. When I talked to my friends, they said like there's nothing, there's no rehab you do for that. But when I read online. There's so many things, like you can go swimming, obviously we can't because um, our horse, because we don't have that, we're a small town, which is maybe the discrepancy. Like we are in this tiny little area with, with limited resources and I, I don't know, I honestly don't know, but I'm gonna look into it and I appreciate all of you guys commenting and telling me your experiences with the same kind of injury and I'm gonna find out the answers. You want the other half? I know, I'm sorry oh, it happened. Come. Tell her to come. Come here, Daisy. Come on. Oh, good girl. Yes, good girl. Now that we have the fence to her advantage. Now we have the fence to her advantage. She's gonna listen a lot more. She wants to go in the Yeah, arena. she wants to go with the other dogs, but she's like, I'm too afraid. <laughs> I'm staying with my girl. Wow. All right, are we ready? We ready for Freddy? Almost. The one day that I really need to get out of here and Penny's taking her time. She's like, I'll just lick this and play with my bucket. You're scared. You're really, really scared. <laughs> yeah, did your dog bite the fence? Oh my gosh. Uh, all of our horses are still feeling way out of it from the, the, the vaccinations they got. None of them are happy. I've noticed that none of them have been quite themselves. Oh, I know they they like a little treat in the morning. Sam gives her a treat, so now she waits for it. But I'm the most worried about this little thing. Penny, did you notice? Uh oh. No. Here, bring only her. Only her walk. Yeah. Let's see. Did you notice anything? No. So only her walk. Uh, Okay, let's see here. Does she look swollen anywhere? Uh, yeah, I think that's a lump. Yep. So basically every year when Willow gets her vaccination, she swells up. This swelling is a little less than before. Can you get her to move? Get her to follow you. Basically, she's walking real slow. Anyways, all of our horses are uh, still feeling the effects of their vaccinations. They're all kind of moving slow, kind of sluggish, kind of not that happy. Willow is the worst. She always swells from the vaccination and our vet gives it in her chest instead of her neck because if a horse's neck swells and they don't want to move their neck, then holy heck, that would be bad. Last time it took about a good week for it to resolve. We're gonna do chores when we get back and we're headed out now to drop off some papers and hit the barn. We are here and all the water's dried up. Most of the water is dried up. Oh, good. All right, thank you. I don't even have any treats. Whoa. Yeah, they were storm. You gave me storm. You gave me storm? What? I knew yeah, that. Yeah, we shouldn't trust mom out there alone. I knew that. No, I'll go because I feel like storm comes to me better. But that's crazy. I felt like Scabby's like, oh, two of the horses are here. Here you go. And she gives me a. A thing and I'm like oh, that's so uncharacteristic uncharacteristically kind of her to just be like here you take Chino I'll go get Storm yeah cuz she gave me Storm <laughs> he is looking so good he's like don't take me for my breakfast uh oh holy heck standing there his feet sunk right in careful all right we got two-tone Finn and we got handsome Chino, who <laughs> doesn't want to leave his breakfast. I mean, it's not our choice either. This is not our favorite thing to do. Kevin's still trying to, oh, she's got him. We don't like coming, but that's like, I shouldn't just make a series of how hard it is to actually have horses. Like, it's a lot more than just throwing them in a field, taking them out then when you want to ride. There's so much extra stuff, vets and chiropractors and, Farriers and trainers and 
There's so much to do and so much going on. Spotted my horse, I learned how to tell. You look at the tail, if there's very sparse tail, you know it's yours. Huff, Stormy. Hi, handsome. He just, he just realizes that I'm here. Oh, come on. Don't run off on me. Just like that, I caught me a storm. He was walking. Oh, he's like, darn it. I was looking, he was looking back at me and so I put my hand out like I had a treat. And he's like, all right, fine, if you got a treat. But then I didn't have a treat. Having a treat in your pocket is a sign of a good horsewoman. There's another horse beside me trying to lick me. Let's, let's go, Stormy. He's a little grouchy today. Your boy's a little grouchy. Has a little bit of a cut on his head. That's his specialty, head wounds, huh? Couple little cuts back here. You guys can't see because of the dark, I don't think. I can't remember where it is. Oh, other side. You guys can see exactly where Finn's saddle sits because it has shedded him a bit so this is his winter coat here and then his summer coat is underneath his there summer coat's all peaceful yeah super cool and then it sits there and then it also sits but he looks so weird underneath here yeah he and looks like it's like an appaloosa this part's golden and this part's white yeah it's so this. weird so i am leaving the girls with the farrier you guys they are so shy they never talk he has a daughter though so I have high hopes. I'm gonna go and get him a coffee and the girls a drink because we got out of the house so early this morning. So I'm gonna head out there and uh, leave the girls to handle the horse business. Pray for them. A medium coffee, a double cream, no, double milk. Anything else today? A uh, medium mocha ice cap. Is that everything today? Yep, thank you. That'll be 1055. Thank you. Today I drove someplace that I'm not used to driving before we came to the barn and I'm really mastering the whole drive through thing. If you guys remember, like not that long ago, I was not a drive through girl. There goes Chino, clip clopping away with his brand new feet. Gabby's going, Gabby's going to lunch storm. <laughs> Food poop on my head. Can you guys see it? I can't actually see Girl, it. Girl, put your hand on it. Okay. You know. There. Oh, I feel it. Ah, oh, it's terrible. That's disgusting. <laughs> A bird poop tummy. See, it can get anywhere. A bird poop on my head. It won't be the first time. It's not the first time. It won't be the last. There's a rub in your hand, too. Yeah, disgusting. I gotta wash. Nature's candy, you guys, it's 11 o'clock. We've been here for a long time. So basically, what happened, okay, so I told you guys I was gonna tell you what happened with Storm. And so, I don't know if you guys remember, some of you guys will if you've been following us for a long time, but when we first met Storm, he always moved funny. Like, he never was like super smooth. I don't know how to describe it, but it took us two years. Last February, our farrier, gave him flip-flops you guys remember when he got the flip-flops and all of a sudden we got this brand new horse like this horse that moved differently jumped differently and would actually move forward like the other horse that we had for the first two years was just so slow and all of his other owners have always said that he's always just been this slow horse but suddenly he started being able to move and and be like a normal horse and it was really hard to pinpoint but we pinned it down to him getting these new flip-flops and it changed his life and then just recently like last December we took the flip-flops off and put something else on and he was still fine still fine we changed farriers and sometimes when you change farriers it just takes time to like figure things out so in the past what would happen is that storm would always his back would always get sore his back would always get sore do you guys remember like we struggled for two years with him always getting his back sore and then Gabby built him up and he would still struggle and these flip-flops that changed his feet really made a difference and changed how his back would get sore. So anyways, recently, um, so we had the farrier, the new farrier, and I didn't notice a difference. And then the new farrier came back again and I noticed a difference in how he was moving. I've just noticed him in the field. I noticed him in the arena. Like, he looks like that old storm again. And so, um, and then his back has been getting sore again. And so 
I told our farrier and that's what we're working on with Storm. We're trying to figure out a way. So he did add something different and do a whole different front end for Storm. So we're hoping that's gonna work and gonna make a difference for him. And if it doesn't, then we might end up putting the flip flops back on. But this guy, I, I don't, I mean, the flip flops were new and not everybody's been using them yet. So anyway, cross our fingers, cross, whoops, shoot. Cross our fingers that this is gonna do it for Storm. It's literally been the craziest day. One of my friends had a baby foal last night, had a foal, not my friend, but my friend's horse. Beautiful black and white paint. And then, oh my gosh. Gabby, you have work to do. I know. Like extra work. I just wanna check on the ponies. And this is what we came home to, you guys. This is what we came home to. Anyway, we're home. I just wanted to check on them. Why can't I just touch your hair? Hey, eh? why can't I just touch your hair? Oh, Penny Pickle. I think this is the very first time ever that I can say I'm exhausted about horses. I'm exhausted about the worry. I'm exhausted, like, trying to figure everything out. I'm exhausted trying to manage all the things that come with having six horses. And Finn and Gracie are basically, our Palominos are basically our easiest horses. We are home and we are getting our chores done. We did school already and I had a nap. Oh, I read early so I don't have to read at night. Yes, she did do that. Do you rather read at night, Gabby, or during the day? I'd rather never read. <laughs> Same. I have supper in the oven. Chicken Girls are... Wing, chicken wings, pork and blood, and chicken what comes after that? Chicken and macaroni. Yeah, guess what happened today? Guess what happened? I was listening to the radio and the guy on the radio was reading the prompt, right? Reading the prompt. And then he screwed it up two times in a row and he, and he went, ah! took a deep breath and started again on the radio, the ad guy. And I was like, yay, like finally out there in real TV and real radio, somebody screwed up and then let their frustration show and then like was a real person. I was super impressed. Somebody's terrified, won't leave our side. <laughs> That's all we needed was a electric fence. <laughs> Best puppy ever. It's been raining for days, you guys. Basically, uh, the status of our outdoor arena is on hold until the rain stops and it can dry up so that we can finish it. I was able to talk to my vet today and he was really reassuring. I love my vet. I know not everybody will agree. And we are a really rural area and we don't have access to a lot of the state of the art stuff that bigger places would have, but I love him. Like, he makes things so under, like, the way he tells me things, I can understand it so much better. But anyway, basically, he had us cold hose willow chest. She's got some swelling from the shot. She gets it every year. Penny, are you unhappy? I, she gets it every year. And it just makes her walk a little bit. She's not walking as fast or as well. Um, but anyway, we're going to do that again tomorrow. And what he said about Penny is I told him that, you know, I was reading up on it. I didn't really have a lot of time to talk about the injury with him because I didn't know enough to have the questions that I needed to ask. And I said, like, everything I read says that she should be in stall rest. And he says that um, the stall rest is good, but there's some bad consequences of stall rest. And the same with having her in a small paddock. And he believes personally that a small paddock is much better for her, that it would they don't want to reduce a bunch of uh, a bunch of things that could happen. So I believe in him. I trust in him. He's coming back in two months, and we're going to reassess her, do another ultrasound. Once the weather changes and I can walk her around without the ground sinking underneath us, um, we'll start hand walking as per protocol that he sent me. And then um, when he comes back and we reassess, then we will start other things like like walking her over poles and stuff. Just like, anyways, he made it sound really, he explained it very, very clearly and very, very well to me and I believe in him, so I'm gonna follow my bet. I know a lot of you guys have different experiences and you're from different areas and even being in the same area, you might have a different experience. Although there's only one vet here, so you'd probably have the same experience if you're in the same area. 
But anyways, I'm gonna believe him. I have to choose to believe him and to trust in him because he's all I have. He's all I actually have for support it through this whole situation. And we have a plan. And we're gonna stick with it and pray. And also he said that her injury is not, there's no tears or anything. She just has a, a minor, 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 minor injury, which, so anyway, yeah. All right, you ready for this? We're gonna let them in. Who goes first? Who's coming first? No, it's Penny Pickle. Penny first. Penny's first. Go slow, Penny Pickle. And then Gracie girl. Oh my gosh, Gabby cleaned her today and she's still dirty again. Oh, well, she's walking a little better. Slow. <laughs> Don't you know that you're beautiful? 